I don't hear screaming. Okay. Kendra. What? <laughs> Quiet on set? <laughs> Silence your phone. <laughs> Silenced. Hey guys, this is Kendra. I'm Bill. And we're from Serene, Serene Tree. Tree. Today, I figured we would just make a video about like the buying process for our cannabis, mainly Delta 8 and Delta 10. You know, there's a lot of questions that we get every day from customers and really we just wanted to clear that all up. So Kendra, when you go to dispensary, what do you look for? I look for first the COA. The COAs like we have right here. We also have these on the website. On the website, because we're somewhat responsible. COA, for those of you that don't know, is a certificate of analysis. It's basically a breakdown of all of the different cannabinoids, uh, heavy metals, and so forth. It's really useful because you can really tell the difference between someone's product. If it's quality, you know, it's gonna be less on the heavy metals. You're gonna have a more accurate uh, account of the cannabinoids, whether it be a CBD, Delta 8, or Delta 10, or just regular, you know, THC. It'll be all broken down for you pretty neatly. Lastly, obviously, it's done by a third-party lab. If it's the same company that's on the COA as the company's name that you're buying from, don't trust it. They literally just copy and pasted their company name onto the COA. You always want that separation there. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're in a shop online for Delta 8 or Delta 10, every company out there should have one of these on all their products. If they don't, that's probably your first red flag to not shop there. And it'll tell you, you know, how much regular Delta 9 is in there. That's right. How much, uh, you know, CBD, active cannabinoids, all the things. So. Yeah. If you're just trying to get a CBD product, make sure that you look at the COA and there's no active THC in it. Yeah. Um, especially if you're trying to do like a drug test or something it won't turn out well for you we have had some people come to us asking about that you will test positive yeah and what is the second thing to the look second for? thing honestly it's pretty simple but a lot of people don't think about it it's personal preference you know like if you're just getting into cannabis we don't recommend you go with a high milligram level if you don't know what a high milligram level is for you if you're at a dispensary just ask them i haven't been to a dispensary personally that they haven't been helpful start with the lowest milligram concentration that they have available you could always go up but sometimes it's hard yeah. to go down when you're going up <laughs> and it just keeps going up you kind of like freak out a little bit sometimes unless it's cbd Delta 8 or Delta 10, they have some effects that keep you down. Oh, and you could also, you know, if you ever get too up there, you could smoke on some CBD flowers. Some CBD blunts. And that no. might help calm you that down. That kush, that OG kush, that cookie <laughs> dankness. <laughs> Dang. Uh, <laughs> <dunk>. <laughs> but yeah, just make sure that you're uh, using the right product. Like if you're gonna try to do like a vape bowl, don't start out with our 1200 milligram, you know? Yeah. Start out with the 500, uh, take a puff, wait 40 minutes. If you're trying to do a blunt, don't go through the whole blunt your first time. Edibles, even some people have, like some of our reviewers have said to just take half of one of our edibles. See yeah. where that takes you. And then you could take the other half. Which is, which is hard. Because our edibles, like the peach rings are my favorite. They're delicious. Like sometimes I'll have them on my desk when I'm gaming at night. I'll like take one and I forget that it's cannabis. <laughs> like I'll just be eating peach rings and then I'll be like playing Dota or something and I'll just forget what I'm doing. <laughs> like, <laughs> so don't be Where like me. I? Make sure you know what you're taking. Number three. Number three is to make sure the company that you're looking at, the company that you want to buy from, has reviews. Our company, Serene Tree, has a lot of reviews. It's easy, you could just go onto Google, search uh, the Google. company name. Usually, uh, some YouTube videos will pop up. The YouTubes on the Googles. Which is perfect. On the interwebs. You know, a lot of reviewers um, review like everything. Pretty much. Everything. If you're looking for a specific product, they might have already tried it out for you. Honestly, if, if you do YouTube search or Google search a company and it's not like the first thing found, run. <laughs> like, <laughs> if, if they can't take pride in their own product and get other people to review it, like peer reviews, it's just not going to be a good product. I can tell you now. So always do your research, know your tolerance level, find COAs. That's about it. Well, thanks guys for joining us, uh, smash that subscribe button. And hit the like. Hit the likes, we like the likes. <laughs> uh, follow us, because we have a lot more content that we're coming out with. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be a fun year. Thanks for joining. Bye guys.